Hello everybody, this is Captain Jirwa bringing you another narrative Pokemon showdown battle. This is an OU battle I had with my team with the uh, special defensive Zapdos on it. Uh, basically this team, I just threw it together one day on PO and it somehow actually works pretty well. I don't know how because it doesn't have any top OUs or any type of defensive core or anything, but I don't know. Anyway. Leads off with Garchomp and sets up his Stealth Rocks. I switch into Gengar, predicting the Earthquake, and then predicts his switch into T-Tar and Focus Blast, which was really dumb because he could have taken the Shadow Ball anyway and just killed me, which he does just kill me, so yeah. I go into Metagross just to kill him off with the Bullet Punch, which is actually not too smart because I could have taken an Outrage, set up my Rocks, and then killed him. I he got the two turn, but yeah. So maybe it was a good thing I did kill him. Anyway, he brings in Rotom, he's just gonna go for the burn, and I knew that was coming, but I just decided to stay in anyway because Mes- or not Mesprit. Metagross is gonna not gonna be that useful if this Rotom is around, and I know it's gonna be around for a while because Rotom never ever dies, and it's always just such a huge problem, and always just bleh. Yeah, anyway, I bring in my Zapdos knowing I can tank hits from this thing for days, and I can get the paralysis off on him with my discharge. And not wanting to get paralyzed, he's just going to Volt Switch out into his Selby, I believe. Yes. Goes into his Selby, and even though I have HP Ice, this is a bulky Selby, so that is not going to be doing too much. And he's just going to be able to paralyze me after he uh, sees the Roost here. I guess he thought he might be able to finish me off there, but no, Zapdos is bulky, man. You're not, you aren't going to kill this thing with any special hits. Get out of my house, Selby. So yeah, anyway, I'm just kind of sitting in here stalling. And I could have stalled for longer, but I was like, alright, you know what, I just need to get a safe switch into Infernape. Because looking at his team, if I can get a safe switch into Infernape, I'm basically just going to be able to destroy something. Like, everything on his team at this point is O-code by one of my moves, because I am a mixed Life Orb Infernape with Overheat, uh, that type of thing. So yeah, I just let my Metagross die, and he's finally going to kill me off here, and that Hidden Power Fire didn't even do as much as I thought it would, but yeah. Defensive Selby. I like the offensive one better, because it can Oko Scissor. But yeah, anyway, I bring my Infernape on the Selby, and he's going to switch into his Rotom as I miss the Overheat on this. And you might think that that is very bad for me, but it's actually good, because it means that I don't take Life Orb Recoil, and I am still able to finish him off. And that little bit of Life Orb recoil that I didn't take is actually going to really come into my favor later in the game. You'll see. Anyway, he brings in Landorus, and I think I might have been able to kill him with an overheat there. I'm not completely sure. I just decided to play it safe, though, and bring in my Zapdos, because that is a great counter. But he predicts that and brings in his Tyranitar, which is not good because... This thing is banded, I believe, so nothing on my team can take a hit from it, as he does decide to crunch, I don't know, I, I don't know why I didn't go for a rock move, but I guess it's all the same, because Zapdos really couldn't do too much to him, and I was paralyzed, so I couldn't stall forever, and I rapid spin against the Selby, just, I just kind of clicked a move, because I thought he was just going to kill me, but I might be faster anyway, I don't know, but, it actually works out really well because now I'm able to get rid of his Stealth Rock, which means that the, there's not going to be as much residual damage on my Infernape and my Mamoswine, which is great because those are the two things I'm really counting on to destroy the rest of his team, and I really need them at as high health as they can be at since they are both Life Orb and I both need blah, 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 I need both of them around. So yeah, anyway, I bring in my Mamoswine and the Selby, gonna go for the Icicle Crash, easily take it out. Uh, and looking at it, I thought I had won at this point. I was like, you know what, man, can just kill everything else in his team. But he brings in Jirachi, and he's scarfed. I'm like, oh no, yes, I live, though. But he flinches me. So I'm like, shit, this thing is... Bleh. So I was just thinking that this Jirachi could potentially now just sweep me. Because it outspeeds everything on my team. And it does have the 60% flinch rate on that Iron Head, and I know Infernape can take one, but if he flinches me, it's basically GG, and I also have to kill the rest of his Pokemon with Infernape. So it's really not looking good for me here. But I'm able to bring in Infernape on his T-Tar here. I go for the Mach Punch because I did not want my defenses to get lowered. 
and now he basically has to bring in something to die. Uh, he decides to bring in his Landorus, thinking he might be able to live and just trying to get the special attack low on me, which he does get, but I am able to take him out, which is good, so now it's his Scarf Jirachi versus my Infernape and my Mamoswine. So basically, I have to switch into my Mamoswine just so I can get rid of that special attack boost. And after that happens, I have to not get flinched and hit an overheat and take him out. So it's all up to this turn whether he flinches me or not, whether I hit the overheat. So he hits the Iron Head, he doesn't flinch me, and I am able to take him out with an overheat. So that was a very close game. It really came down to the wire. That was a great game. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, feel free to check out my channel, all that stuff, and I'll see you later.